Good morning, friends, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to change fractions into decimals. But before that, I would like to have a special shout out sa aking friend na si Brad James Bersede. Sa yung nag-create sa aking intro scene at ending scene. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll always be updated for my coming videos. Okay, let's start. How to change fractions to decimal. So example number one, two tenths. So this is a fraction. So how to change this into decimal? So this is the step. So two over ten. So you will divide this one. So let's try. So two, ilagay natin dito sa loob ng kahon. Then two divided by ten. So pa paano gawin? So this is the first step. So, 2 divided by 10. So, this is cannot be because 2 is uh, lesser than 10. So, mas maliit yung 2 sa 10. So, what will you do is add point 0. So, add point 0. So, point here. Then, you also have to put decimal point here sa taas. So, align the points. So, ito yung nagiging 20 na. So, 20 divided by 10, that is 2. So, Multiply. So, 2 times 10 equals 20. So, subtract. So, 20 minus 20, that is 0. So, the answer is point, point 0.2. So, 2 over 10 fraction change decimal, magiging point 0.2 siya sa decimal. Example number 2. So, 5 tenths. So, 5 tenths is a fraction change to decimal. So, again, the step is we have to divide. So, 5 divided by 10. So, 5 divided by 10. So, as you can see, this is cannot be because 5 is lesser than 10. So, if it is cannot be, you will add point 0.0. Point 0. So, point here. So, you must also put point here. So, align the points. So, ito yung nagiging 50 na. So, 50 divided by 10. So, pwede na. So, 50 divided by 10, that is 5. So, 5 times 10 is 50. So, subtract. So, 50, div uh, 50 minus 50, that is 0. So, the answer here is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So, 5 tenths in fraction is 0.5 in decimal so this is the answer example number three two eighths so change two eighths into decimal so again we have to divide so two divided by eight two divided by eight so as you can see two here is lesser than eight so again we have to add point zero so point here so point here also so it may be in 20 now so 20 Divided by 8, that is 2. Then multiply. So 2 times 8, that is 16. So next step is we have to subtract. So 0, ca zero minus 6 cannot be. So we have to borrow 1 here. So yung 2, borrow 1, magiging 1. And this one will become 10. So 10 minus 6 equals 4. 1 minus 1, 0 na yan. So, 4 divided by 8, again, cannot be. So, add 0. Do not add point kasi na, may point na. 0 na lang i-add. So, add 0 here. Then, what will you do here is to bring down the 0. So, 40 uh, divided by 8 equals 5. Then, multiply 5 times 8, that is 40. So, subtract. 40 minus 40, that is now 0. So the answer is point 0.25. Point 0.25. Two eighths as a fraction, change decimal, siya magiging point 0.25. Example number 4. 3 fourths change to decimal. Again, we have to divide. 3 divided by 4. So, this is cannot be, so add point, point 0. So, 
30 divided by 4, that is 7. So, 7, multiply it by 4. So, 7 times 4 is 28. Next is, you have to subtract. So, 0 minus 8 cannot be. So, we have to regroup. So, borrow 1 from 3, ito yung magiging 2. At yung 0, magiging 10. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. Then, 2 minus 2, 0 na yan. So, 2. So, 2 divided by 4 cannot be again. So, we have to add another 0. So, 0. So, bring down the 0. Magiging 20. So, 20 divided by 4, that is 5. So, 5 times 4 is 20. Then, subtract. 20 minus 20, that is now 0. So, the answer is 0. 0.75. So, 0. 0.75. Three-fourths in fraction in decimal is 0.75. Okay, example number five. So, one-eighths. So, one-eighths change nothing to decimals. So, we have to divide. One divided by eight. So, this is again cannot be. So, add 0. 0.0. So, ten. So, ten divided by eight is one. And multiply, 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract, so 10, 10 minus 8, that is 2. Now, 2 divided by 8 is cannot be, so add 0. So bring down the 0, ito yung magiging 20. So 20 divided by 8, that is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract, so 20, uh, Minus 16. So, cannot be. 0 minus 6 cannot be. So, borrow 1 from here. So, ito magiging 1. Ito magiging 10. So, 10 minus 6 is 4. So, the same step. You have to divide. 4 uh, divided by 8 cannot be. So, add another 0. So, again, bring down the 0. Ito magiging 40. So, 40. 40 divided by 8. That is 5. Then 5 times 8 is 40. So subtract. So 40 minus 40 is 0 na. So the answer is 0. 0.125. So 1 eighth in fraction magiging 0. 0.125 or 0. 0.125 in decimal. Example number 6. 4 fifth change to decimal. So we have to divide. 4 divided by 5 4 divided by 5 cannot be so add point zero. so 40 so 40 divided by 5 that is 8 so multiply 8 times 5 8 times 5 is 40 subtract 40 minus 40 that is 0 so the answer now is point 0.8 Point 0.8 4 fifth in fraction in decimal is point 0.8 Example number 7 6 eighths change to decimal So 6 eighths So 6 divided by 8 So again this is cannot be So add point 0.0 Point and point here So 60 60 divided by 7 that is Oh no 60 Divided by 8, that is 7. So multiply 7 times 8, that is 56. Subtract. 0 minus 6 cannot be, so we have to regroup. So borrow 1 from 6, ito yung magiging 5. Then this one magiging 10. So 10 minus 6, that is 4. Then 5 minus 5, 0 na. So, 4. 4 divided by 8. Again, this cannot be. So, add another 0. So, 0. Bring down here. 0. So, 40. So, 40 divided by 8 is 5. So, 5 times 8, that is 40. So, subtract. 40 minus 40, that is 0. So, the answer is point, point 0.75. So, point 0.75. Or 75 hundredths. Example number 8. 3, 6. Change to decimal. 
divide. 3 divided by 6. Cannot be. 3 divided by 6 cannot be. So add point 0.0. Zero. Point and point. Okay. So 30 divided by 6, that is 5. Multiply. 5 times 6 is 30. So subtract. 30 minus 30 is 0. So the answer is 0.5. 0.5 or 5 tenths. So hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga bata. I hope you have learned something from our lesson for today. So if you have learned something, please do subscribe and click that notification bell. And please watch out for our coming math tutorials. Paalam!